Now, a Second World War fighter has been found intact in the Sahara Desert 70 years after it crashed. The P-40 Kitty Hawk disappeared on a flight from one airbase to another. It appears to have been ditched and then lost until its chance discovery by an oil worker. Will Inglis reports. The Kitty Hawk is as it was when it hit the ground. At first glance, it seems almost airworthy. And the markings of 260 Squadron are clearly visible. Thousands of American-made Kitty Hawks were delivered to the RAF and Allied Air Forces during the Second World War. This model at the RAF Museum was reassembled from the wreckage of several crashed planes. None of them, though, was in anything like the condition of this new aircraft found in the Sahara. It's quite amazing. I've seen photographs of other aircraft that have been uh, out in the open for that length of time. And uh, this is an incredible state of preservation. It's obviously suffered from uh, the sand and the sun, but um, it's, um, it, it's a miracle that it's so intact and, uh, and you can recognize so much of it. The plane had been damaged by enemy fire and was en route for repairs on June the 28th, 1942, when contact was lost. The pilot is believed to have survived the crash itself, but perished in the desert heat. His remains, though, are yet to be found. He had some real challenges, no radio, uh, extreme heat at that time of year, probably very li limited water. He didn't really know where he was and he didn't know which direction he might walk to safety. And finally, uh, no one really uh, knew he was there, so there was very little prospect that he would be found by a search party. If the plane is recovered to the UK, the site could then be marked as a war grave. Will Inglis, Forces News.